now i will discuss with creating the views the view is one of the most important thing and you already know about view because i discussed about the view in the route class now in this lecture i will show that in short and i will also show you how to create a view like the other items in the laravel for example when we go to create uh, a controller then we use make controller this type of command then when we create model then we use make model this type of command that is very easy but in laravel there is nothing like make view so i will just do like that i will create a custom system so that you can just uh, write command like make view okay when you work with view what happens when i create i want to create a view file here then what i do in the views folder i just create a file that is blade file for example about dot blade dot php this view file right so manually i do that and there i write the codes like about us like this and when i define the route then that is very simple here i just call about this one and the view i return that is return view about and in the url when i do like this about then you see that the about page comes right this is the about view and about the view page that is about view and the content is showing in the browser so this is very simple but now what i will do i am now going to create a system in order to run the PSP partition command from the terminal, I am going to open the new terminal. So after opening the terminal in the VS code, here I will write PSP partition. Then I will use a make command this one. So write PSP partition make command. Now I will create a command that is create view. Okay. Now I am going to give enter actually after doing this what is happened inside the app folder and then you will see that there is a console folder and there you will see that there is a commands folder and here a create view.psp file comes when i run this command then automatically this file is created now i am going to write some codes into the handle method okay here i am going to use another one for example illuminate then i am going to use support support then i will use a facet which facet that is file so uh, into the handle method i will write some codes here for example name equal to i am going to create a variable and here i will write this argument okay so this argument here i am going to give here a name here and the view path equal to here i will use a resource path so resource path and here i will give a command that is views and here i am going to give the parameter name uh, here i will have to include it because into the views where the view will be created that i am going to define you know that we just create views into the resources views folder so this resources folder location in laravel in order to get this location uh, there is a building function that is resource path so i give the resource path and here into the views folder i will create views so i give here the name of the folder that is views dot means string concatenation this name that i will get so here i am going to uh, give the name of the file that is name okay and here the extension of all the blade file you know dot blade dot php right so here i will concat dot blade dot php so in this name a file will be created so in order to create file you know in php what we do so the same type of things we will use here that is if file then exist if file exists there is view path if there is already exist a file by this name in the view path then there will be an error and you cannot create view in that uh, case so this error here i am going 
to give a message view already exists okay and there will be else if everything okay then here will be a file put i will create a file the first parameter will be view path and in the second parameter here just make it blank that is okay view path will be there and this info i will give here a message that is view is created successfully okay so this is the code i change here so this command that i create that is create view i will have to register it into the kernel so into the app then i will have to go on the console command there you see there is a, a kernel right so i am going to open the kernel.php file in the commands i am going to write, write it here in the bottom so here app then i am going to call console and then commands uh, commands and then create view of class i am going to cut it here i am do, going to do another thing that is protected i am going to create an array here okay so that is commands protected commands equal to like this and here into the protected commands i am going to paste this one so it should work so i am going to call here a view that is php artisan make view so here i am going to give the view name by my name okay it is showing that error command make view is not defined here it is actually the make view it is not found so i am going to create view again you see that the app create view this command this command i will have to actually change so here i am going to give here make view and into the make view after that i will have to give name because this name that i give here this will be passed as a parameter here right so this is the command so from here it will in, uh, take the input of the name make view so i am going to do that again so i am going to run this command again that is php partition make view rfin so let's check if it is created here enter you see that rfin.blade.php yes and view is created successfully that means you can now easily create your view files using the php partition command so i hope you have understood how i have done this